You got what's up? You like my hair? <laughs> you know why I be wrapping my hair? I chop my hair, cut it all off, I shave it ball. So now I didn't like how it looked. That's why you see me keep wrapping it and wearing all kinds of little funny, funny things. So I wanted to grow out a little bit, then I can do my little afro. Yes. Uh -huh. But one day, maybe I'll get brave and show y'all. But what's up, you guys? I'm back on my land. I'm just kidding. I never left. <laughs> you got to have some fun sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm back on my land. No, I'm just kidding. When I move, I never left. So I've been on my land. Thank you so very much. But the guy is here now. Look at that beautiful view. This is what I wake up to every morning. This is what I go to sleep at night, in the afternoon, in the evening. This is my view all day, every day. And I'm grateful for the most high for creating such a beautiful view. There's another view right here. You know what view that is? That's that mansion. That's that mansion the most high blessed me with. Can I get an amen, somebody? You own the mansion coming. Hello. Mm -hmm. They made me my tile. So let me go take a video. Do my tile. They're putting down my tile for my living room and my kitchen. He's on the phone, so let me stop. All right, my carpenter on the phone. You know how they are. So anyway, you guys, this is one of the privilege and honor for living on the beach. You don't got to buy sand. Yeah, I know I butcher the English language, so what? Mm -hmm. It's meant to be butchered sometimes. All the time. Most of the time. But look here, I ain't got to buy no sand. I do not have to buy any sand when you live on the beach. You ain't got to buy no sand. You don't have to buy any sand. You ain't got to do drag. You don't have to do drag. Can I get an email somebody? You see there? You see this brown looking thing? It's some kind of flower. They say it's in the bottom of the ocean. So sometimes, because when I was building my house, the beach was nice and clean. I never saw this once. Just last week I noticed, I said, what is this? It wasn't here. But you see the ocean, it comes from the bottom of the ocean. The ocean will watch this as show. And then after a while, the ocean will push some sand and it will bury it. That's what happened. The whole area here was filled with that brown looking flower. And then I came back this morning, it almost covered up. It's like cover up, it's like 90% gone. So I don't know how we'll do it. When we move here, how we're gonna handle it. There's apparently, apparently there's a season and the ocean can watch this, but it don't last maybe one week, two weeks after that it buries it. So something we have to deal with. Something I didn't know about on the beach, but now I'm learning a lot of things about living on the beach and Mr. Sarah there holding it. You guys, I never got to show you my land when the, the kids, what I did was, can you see how the guys claim my land? Isn't it beautiful? What I did was, when I burned this, or buried it, the, the part of trash. But you see all the trees, I made it to plant flowers. So my one acre land, when all these flowers and coconut trees, when they grow, it will be like a fence. So the whole cornerstone, the four cornerstone of my land, they buried, they planted flowers around it. So when the flower grow, it will be like a fence. Yeah, so let's go inside and see now. I think he's off the phone. Let's go inside and see. We're going to start the tile work for the house. We're going to start the tile work because they're bringing the sand from the beach. They're dumping it right there. So this is my living room, you guys. You're going to get to see the before and the after. Where is my tile? So you guys, I'm at my kitchen right now. So he, today he's gonna do the kitchen. He'll do the living room, and that thing he said in the morning he can do the kitchen, or he can do both. The place is pretty small. He can do this in one day, really one. Yes. This one. That's the tower man right there. We are in the beginning of September, so I'm telling you guys, before the end of September, this house got to be completed. That's my prophecy. That's my prayer. That's my vision. That's my dream. And God said, the expectation of the righteous should not be cut off. That's my expectation, and it's not going to be cut off. Whoever say or think or desire otherwise, you know what's going to happen to you. It's called sowing and reaping. Uh -huh. What you sow and wish for others, you too shall reap it sevenfold. That's how I look at it. 
You like my kitchen? <laughs> That's my pot. That's Angel's pot. And she waiting out here for Angel. Some chicken feet, and pig feet, and some fish. I just boil them and put a pinch of salt and give that to her. She licks it clean. That's just rice. I got some potato greens in the fridge. See my fridge? Y'all like to be nosy. In my freezer. You see all this here? That's my moringa. 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 My lemongrass bag is empty and more moringa. I got three big bags of moringa. I just pinch a little bit in the morning, put it in the pot, boil it, drink it. Mm -hmm. My kitchen's coming together, you guys. It's coming together, it's coming together, it's coming together. Yeah. That injured day bed. So you guys, you see the towel? This one. This is a digital print. I just realized that when they took out of the box, it says digital print, so it's not. It's smooth as it's like it's like the printer on top of the stuff, but it's an actual tie that can break. You hear it? This one now has you can feel it's like a texture. You got the space. This is the kind of look I was looking for. I thought this I saw this on a picture and I just told him send it to me, but I didn't realize it was digital print. This one is an actual tie, it has space in between. You see, it has a texture, it has bumps in the room. See there? That's what I wanted. So this one going in the living room. I mean I start shouting it. This is beautiful, I love this. You know the ocean breeze, this kind of colors. I love these kind of colors. Earth tune, beachy tune. So this is going in the living room. And this is going in my kitchen. This is going in my kitchen, but it's like a digital. So okay. I found a brown backdrop or backsplash for the kitchen. It'll be like this a little bit darker that will put above my kitchen. What the kitchen sink. So what you guys think? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is my living room look like for now. I can't do that rail. Uh-uh, I'll wait for hours. So today, should we rent a vent? Or should I just talk about, I was trying to do some rent and venting. The rain was coming, so I went back inside. Now I'm back outside. What want to talk about? The same old, same old. When y'all coming home? That's what I want to talk about. That's all I got to talk about. When y'all coming home, talk to me, somebody. Who do you expect to develop this beautiful coast? Don't talk to me. Who or whom do you expect? All the grammar police, please correct me. Thank you very much. Who or whom do you expect to develop this beautiful coastline? If not you, beloved, who? If not now, when? You're going to sit down in your concrete jungle, your western culture, slavery, lifestyle, modern day slavery, lifestyle, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then when the foreigner come and buy the land up, develop the place, you're gonna complain it's too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lazy man, a man who is lazy, a man who lacks vision, a man who lacks creativity, innovation, they will always find reason, they will justify reason why they cannot and they should not do anything. That's a lazy man. Anybody who lacks creativity, innovation, they are lazy. They will always give you 101 reason why you shouldn't come to Liberia, why you shouldn't invest in Africa, why you shouldn't go here, why you shouldn't retire there. They will give you 100 reasons to justify their lack of creativity, innovation, the lack of pioneer spirit, the lack of um, game changer spirit. They will give you a hundred and one reason why you shouldn't go to this place, move to that place, invest in this place, retire. They will give you a whole other reason why. But those simple who give you reason, they get, you ask them, they will also turn around and give you a hundred and one reason why they don't want to stay in Asin, America or UK, wherever they are. That's a lazy man. When I say lazy, I don't just only mean physical. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually people are lazy yes i said it 
mental, mental laziness means you lack creativity and innovation. You don't have the skill. Mentally, you just want to be a worker bee, nine to five clacking. So that's why you don't have any interest or in, uh, interest in investing in Liberia or Africa. You don't have any interest in relocating or retiring in Liberia, Africa, because you lack innovative and creative skills. The pioneer spirit is far away from you. The game changer spirit, you don't have a game changer, trailblazer, pathfinder, pioneer. You don't have any of those. That's why you discourage your people from coming home, or you discourage your people if you are in the states or you are abroad abroad you will discourage your people who are in the state you discourage them from coming here to invest and if your relatives are on ground they will eat they will discourage you from coming here they'll say oh, the place too far they are lazy oh the place too far oh there's nobody there i don't have interest in that place once upon a time you all right see my face thank you very much don't mind me talking about no makeup in here you hear, you hear me I had to talk to me don't mind me talking about no makeup in here you heard you heard i'm trying to flip this thing around what's going on